Hi everyone, welcome back. If it's your first time on this channel, my name is Executor. Today we are going to learn how to install Docker on Windows Server 2022. We are also going to install a container so you guys can see how it's done. Without further ado, let's get started. So I am going to my ESXi dashboard over here. I already have Windows servers ready to go to save on time. This is the one we are, we, we are going to use for, uh, for the purpose of installing Docker. Okay, let me just make sure that uh, you can see it very well. Okay, cool. Okay. So, I'm going to show you one way to do it. Go to Add Rollers and Features. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. And click Next. And over here, you see Containers. We can click that and just follow the wizard and install Docker. But we are not going to do it that way. We are going to do it the professional way. So... I'm going to search for PowerShell. PowerShell, and I'm going to be choosing PowerShell ISE. And I'm going to run it as an administrator. Cool. I'm going to close this window over here. Increase the font size. Make sure that uh, you guys can see the commands I'm typing. Yes, that should be good. Then I'm going to run the first command. Install model. Install model docker ms ft provider. Then we are going to put hyphen force so it's selected, yep. And then just hit enter on this first command. We are going to say yes to this pop-up. Then after this, we are going to install the package that has all the configuration files that Docker will need. Okay. The seems to have gone well next we are going to type install package select that hyphen name docker Hyphen provide. Yep. And Docker MSFT provider. And hit enter on this command as well. And then we are going to say yes to all. We want all the packages. Right after that, we are going to we are going to restall. I mean, to restart, we are going to restart um, our server. Okay, this shouldn't take too long, and it's already completed. So now, as you can see. It says a restart is required to enable the containers feature. Please restart your machine. And that's exactly what we are going to do. We're going to go to shutdown and we are going to use the 
application yeah plan install yep installation plan and then hit continue and that is going to restart it the right way This should be taking a, a few seconds. Okay, and that is done. Let's log in. Control Alt Delete, put my password. And here we are. We're going to look for PowerShell again. Go for ISC. And the next command will be installing Docker for us. Let me just uh, increase the font size again. Okay, so let's go with get windows. Yes, get window features. That's name. Name is container. And we're going to hit enter on that. And that's it. So let's verify with docker dash dash version and as you can see docker is right there if you want more details about the version of docker you just type docker version and if you want even more details about your docker con i mean your docker instance just uh type docker info this will give you even more details and if you want to n get the service details about uh, about docker you just type get sorry get service Yes, that one, and our Docker, and that tells you the Docker engine is running. Let me just clear my screen. Awesome. Now we are going to check on roles and features to make sure that uh, that our container is. Uh, has actually been added. Put it up. Click next. Leave this as is and just click next. Leave this machine selected. Uh, click next. And then over here you can see that the containers, containers section is already checked. So that means we actually have Docker installed and running. So we are going to quickly run um, an instance, a Docker instance, with the command docker run dash it dash dash remove dash p port is going to be eight thousand colon eighty dash dash name is going. This regard name is going to be ASP net core underscore sample MCR dot micro if I can type Microsoft dot com slash dot net 
slash samples colon ASP net net app because we are installing the app and hit enter on this it's going to pull the image from Docker Hub so this is going to allow us to install a default page of ASP net sample which is the same as uh, the Nginx, Nginx default page on Linux or Apache default page on Linux. It's the equivalent. So we are going to give a few seconds for this to complete. And right after this complete, we're just going to we're just going to fire uh, Edge over here and access our web page on uh, at the endpoint that was specified. Okay, let me just uh, open another. I'm gonna open another window while that is running. Let's talk. Let's check with Docker PS. Okay, that seems to be running. Let's check it out. Uh, yep. Okay, dark, dark mode is always better for me. Let's check on local host. Port 8000 and here we go. We have our .NET instance running and here is the default page. And just like that, we were able to install Docker on a fresh Windows Server 2022 and went ahead and installed an, a Docker image. And with this knowledge, the sky is the limit. That will be it for the purpose of uh, this tutorial. If uh, any of you guys have any questions, please leave it down below and I will be getting back to you guys shortly. Well, everybody, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.